place today i'll talk about the different uses of dummy variables as independent variables in our multiple regression model remember that dummy variables can be used both as a dependent variable as as well as a as well as the independent variables so today i'll talk only about the use of dummy variables as independent variables in our multiple regression model so the first one suppose we want to check the change in intercept over time let's consider the two time period that is a dummy variable there are two attributes that is no lockdown days and there is the lockdown days so these are the two attributes therefore we have included one dummy variable and suppose our regression equation look like this that means we are assuming that our expenditure is affected whether our expenditure is being affected by lockdown days and not lockdown days as well as income or not so that's what we want to check so accordingly when we uh, go for estimation after estimation what we find is if we estimate suppose for d1 your regression equation will look like this so it is expenditure beta naught plus beta 1 now this beta 1 cap where is it coming from so it is this we have given we had given for lockdown for no lockdown days it is given as 1 so if d1 represents your no lockdown days then your estimated value of the intercept becomes beta naught beta naught you estimate this plus d1 is equal to 1 so when you estimate this it becomes your beta 1 cap plus your beta 2 cap that is the estimated value from the regression equation and the second one if d1 is equal to 0 d1 is equal to 0 that means if d1 is equal to 0 with lockdown days so it becomes d1 is equal to 0 means only this becomes 0 beta 1 your beta 1 becomes 0 so when you estimate this your beta naught you get it as beta naught cap you estimate this you get it as beta naught cap and as well as your estimated value of the beta 2 cap from the income so what you can understand from here is that is actually we are trying to understand whether the expenditure is affected by the two different attributes that is with the lockdown days and other one with the no lockdown days or we simply mean like beta 1 cap plus beta not cap is nothing but your minimum expenditure for maybe a month or maybe for a, a day whether it is increasing or decreasing in times of no lockdown days okay so naturally it is so much natural it's uh, we can believe that if there is no lockdown days your expenditure might go up all right so if d1 we have re represented it as uh, no lockdown days then we can expect like what your expenditure will go up that is beta naught cap plus beta 1 cap now in the lockdown days if your d1 is equal to 0 then this beta 1 cap the additional expenditure that you might make is going to be 0 during the lockdown days that is we had it to be 0 so therefore what we can say is we are simply trying to understand we are simply trying to compare here our null hypothesis would be whether uh, beta naught cap plus beta 1 cap is equal to beta naught cap or not that is what we are assuming here that is what our null hypothesis generally is so we can understand this with our uh, we can understand this word also with a diagram like this so it is generally like I say we are trying to simply understand with the use of these two attributes whether there is any changes or whether there is any impact of these two different attributes that is lockdown days and no lockdown days if there is a lockdown definitely that's why we are getting what definitely there will be less expenditure isn't it now, if there is no lockdown that is beta naught cap plus something that is that um, that indicates your increase in expenditure so generally when you go by a diagram like this so expenditure is a function of income so here the intercept term look at this two two terms differently two different terms okay this is beta naught cap so this is capturing only this part this is capturing only this part now if your 
it is uh, a no lockdown days then it will take care of this whole part that is your beta naught plus beta 1 cap that's why I have indicated it or you can see this the estimated value or estimated regression line is beta naught cap plus beta 2 cap income and the other one that is when there is no lockdown days it is beta naught cap plus beta 2 cap that means your expenditure is more during the normal days than the uh, expenditure during the lockdown days so that's how we can use make use of the dummy variables this is one way of using a dummy variables in a multiple regression model now the the second use of the second use of the dummy variables to see the changes in the slope over time okay mind it this is well, here we want to see the change in slope over time the same example suppose there is we are using the dummy variables like two with two attributes that is with lockdown days and with no lockdown days okay so we will simply want to check whether our expenditure is affected by income as well as the dummy variables or the two different attributes with lockdown and no lockdown days so see the difference look at the difference here look at the difference in the inclusion of the dummy variables here we want to check the slope see from this diagram you can easily make it out why we are doing this or how, how, how we are making this so that means we have included this dummy variable for the variables for the independent variables not for the intercept term right so because we want to check it for the changes in the slope over time so when you estimate this equation that is if your d1 that is during, during the normal days so what happens to your what happens to your uh, the ratio or the uh, whether uh, whether there is any changes in the slope or not over a period of time when you have this multiple regression model so okay so when you talk about this d1 is equal to 1 that means this d1 becomes your 1 so ultimately what when you estimate this equation what you get is beta naught cap plus beta 1 cap will remain the same so this d1 is equal to 1 therefore we get this beta 2 cap so that's why we put it beta 1 cap plus beta 2 cap now when if d1 is equal to 0 if d1 is equal to 0 then what we get is when we estimate this equation we just get this beta naught plus beta 1 cap that means if d1 is equal to 0 your this d1 becomes 0 so what we get is this beta 2 gets deleted so what we get the estimated equation is just beta naught cap plus beta 1 cap income so ultimately we can also understand this from a from an equation like this that is we are saying like expenditure is a function of income income so here we are not talking about the change in intercept term but we are talking about the slope see that's why this slope this slope is is much much steeper or higher than the other one that is that has been represented or that can be indicated by beta 1 cap plus beta 2 cap so here for the lockdown days of course we generally know during the lockdown days your expenditure to income might be less than the uh, than the one during our normal days that is that's why your slope is much much higher during the normal days than the days during the lockdown days because you have no money to spend isn't it you are being put down in, put in a lockdown so you cannot go out to the markets and your expenditure might come down so generally that is how we can uh, show like or that is how we can use like the dummy variables to check whether there is any changes in the slope over time or not that means when you estimate this equation this can be represented by these two different equations that is including this beta 1 plus means there is a change in the slope that means that's why we can put this to be beta 1 cap plus beta 2 cap and that's how we can make use of the dummy variables